guys, how's going on? My name is Luis and God bless every single one of you. Today is December 6, 2023 and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And it says here, United States Navy orders grounding of all offspring aircraft after eight has passed and crashed off Japan. Now, this happened last week, guys. And they're still looking for this bird, if I'm not mistaken. And when I say bird, I'm talking about this uh, osprey. Um, so it happened last week. And they're still looking for it, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, this information is coming out right now. All right, once again, uh, the U.S. Is, uh, is putting out a very important information. U.S. Navy is putting out the information as ordered the grounding of all military offspring aircraft after eight service members passed all right guys before i start give this video big thumbs up share this video with your friends families and loved ones i appreciate the love and support and for those of you that want to contribute to the channel once again the paypal link and the patreon link is in the description box also guys one dollar a month patreon we get your access to our live stream every sunday we talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform also, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago at 3432 US Highway 19, number two, Holiday, Florida 34691. Guys, I post videos today, multiple videos. There was two uh, videos I posted, very important ones. Notification were not sent out. And these are very important videos. So uh, one of the videos is the sleeping giant leader raises the specter of sleeping giant soldiers having to fight the bear forces in Europe if the house stands by and allows the yellow and blue country to fall. All right. So once again, uh, you can find that video on Twitter, uh, my Twitter account. Uh, the link will be in the comments box. Uh, just follow me on Twitter for all the updates. But um, again, the Sleeping Giant leader is basically saying we're going to be sending Sleeping Giant soldiers to fight the bear if you guys don't figure this out. So he's referring to the right uh, that don't want to uh, send money to the yellow and blue. So the leader of the Sleeping Giant is saying either send the money or we're going to send Sleeping Giant soldiers. There you go. There you go. So this video here, if you guys want to check out that video, it's going to be this one right here. It's going to be this one right here. All right. This is the one televised address. All right. You can find it right here. It's in this channel. All right. So urgent televised address troops getting ready. Question mark. All right. Make sure you check out this video. I post this today. Bunkers ready. South Dakota, 600, 600 bunkers. Uh, so very important videos I post today, guys. I got some more information. Once again, make sure you follow me at the Rise Up Warrior. Uh, excuse me, the Rio GS News. Uh, I just post this video not too long ago. Massive events going on in the sun. Look at that thing. I mean, just looking at it, it looked like an eyeball, like one of those uh, reptilian uh, lizards. Uh, eyeballs or something i don't know this thing looks crazy but uh, again this link will be in the comments box if you guys want to check it out also uh this is very important um they got up and left meaning the right got up and left they don't want to hear no more from the left uh because the left wants a whole bunch of money to send to the yellow and blue country so the right they got up from the meeting they left they say, if you guys want us to send money to the yellow and blue country, let's fix the sleeping giant first. They refuse. So the right, uh, so the right uh, decided to leave. So, I mean, there's some situation going on between these two guys. Uh, again, the left and the right. So again, um, I also post this video. Once again, make sure you check out these videos. Share it. Uh, notifications are not being sent out. It's all right. Uh, this the reason why I put all the links in the comments box for those of you that miss my videos. All right. Um, let's go with this one here. I think tonight I might take my wife out. Uh, again, we don't go out like 
to restaurant that much. I mean, actually we do, uh, you know, in the weekends, but, uh, I feel like, uh, taking a break right now. Um, a lot of videos are being posted and I just, I just feel like I'm overdoing it. <laughs> so, uh, so the military has grounded all military Osprey aircraft V-22 helicopters following a, a huge event of the coast of Japan. Now, guys, when this happened, remember, I told you that this thing, that's a bad review. I mean, this thing is always, there's always something happening to this stuff. Now, again, it, it's like a helicopter, but it's fast like a plane. All right. So uh, that's why they love this type of stuff. And you, again, you could fit a lot of people in this, a lot of soldiers. But there's some problem going on with it. Who knows? There's a possibility. Maybe the system is being jammed. Uh, and it happened during solar flare. All right. Um, so it says here. Um, once again, it happened off Japan that resulted in a DEATHS of eight. Air Force Special Op Command Service members. The grounding comes after a preliminary investigation. My deepest condolence and prayers to the families and friends that lost their loved ones. Totally apologize about some of these advertisements. Something I cannot control, guys. It just pops up. The military announced late Wednesday, today, November, excuse me, December 6th, it was grounding all of its offspring V 22 helicopters one week after eight. Air Force Special Op uh, members, D-I-E-D, -E in a crash off the coast of Japan. Now, again, I, guys, this thing disappeared from radar and supposedly it crashed in the Pacific and they can't find it. They just can't find it. So the Air Force, Navy and Marine Corps took the extraordinary step of grounding hundreds of aircraft after a preliminary investigation of last week crash indicated that a material a failure that something went wrong with the aircraft and not a mistake by the crew led to this event but here's the thing this helicopter this offspring has been having bad reviews for for so many years but why is this one much different than others something went wrong there's a possibility, who knows, maybe the Red Dragon might have uh, jammed into the system. Because this happened not too far from the Red Dragon. So the crash raised new question about the safety of the offspring, uh, which has been involved in multiple events over its rela uh, relatively short time in service. Japan grounded its fleet of 14 Osprey after the crash. You have a uh, lieutenant, I'm going to skip the name, uh, head of the Air Force Special Operation Command, Lieutenant uh, Tony, uh, directed the stand down to mitigate the risk while the investigation continued. The command said in a statement, now preliminary investigation information indicates a potential material failure caused the mishap, but the underlying uh, cause of the failure is unknown at this time. All right, they still don't know what's going on here. Here's the thing, guys. I do believe that they know something. It's just they don't want, uh, again, the bear or the red dragon or North K to know what really happened. Everything is like top, you know, silence. All right. So in a separate notice, Naval Air System. Give me a second here, guys. I got to pause the video. There we go. So in a separate notice, Naval Air System Command said it was grounding all of the bird. All right. So the command is responsible for the Marine Corps and Navy variants of the aircraft. Now, the Air Force said it was unknown how long the aircraft would be grounded. It said that the stand down was expected to remain in place until the investigation has determined the cause of the Japan crash and made recommendation to allow the fleet to return to operation. So they don't know um, how long this is going to last, that grounding. Um, but uh, this is the first time, guys, uh, when it comes to this uh, 
aircraft. This is like the first time. And again, like I mentioned, uh, this offspring has been having so many bad review. This thing is always uh, have technical issue. The clutch is a problem. There's always something going on with this bird. The sleeping giant made offspring is a hybrid aircraft that takes off and lands like a helicopter, but can rotate its propeller forward and cruise much faster like a plane, like an airplane. So during flight, Air Force Special Operation Command has 51 Ospreys. Uh, the Sleeping Giant Marine Corps flies more than 400, and the Sleeping Giant Navy operates 27. Now, once again, this bird is still a relatively young plane in the military's fleet. The first Ospreys only became operational in 2007 after decades of testing, but more than 50 troops have DIED eight flight testing on uh, the Ospreys or conducting training flights in the aircraft, including 20 pass and four crashes over the past 20 months, not years, months. If you kind of think about it, 20 months is uh, when the war began in a yellow and blue country. I'm not saying it's the bear, but uh, again, just keep your eyes open. It seems like there's some stuff going on out there. Uh, and you got the red dragon, you got North K, you got the bear out there. An Osprey accident in August in Australia has taken three. The accident also is still under investigation. And that's what's going on right now. All these, uh, once again, give me a second. Once again, uh, the U.S. Uh, Navy has ordered the grounding of all military offspring aircraft after eight service member passed. I think this thing should have been no, uh, checked on months ago. I'm glad that uh, they're doing something now, but uh, like I said, it should have been done uh, way back. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, my deepest condolence and prayers to the families and friends that lost their loved ones. And uh, hopefully they figure something out with this, with this bird right here. But uh, again, they love it because it's like a helicopter and uh, it's fast like an airplane. Very powerful, but there's some issue going on with it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way the truth and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.